Hi, this is Leah Lawson with Pinkfresh Studio, and I am at the studio at scrapbook.com, and I am here to share one of our brand new paper collections with you called Just a Little Lovely. You guys, this collection is beautiful, and it is probably one of my favorites that we've come out with. It is full of florals and watercolor elements, and a lot of those watercolor elements were actually hand-painted by our illustrators. It's just a beautiful collection. It's got a beautiful color palette. You're gonna be able to use it for so many different subjects and projects. So why don't we get right in and take a closer look at it? We are going to start with the 12 by 12 papers. So this first paper has this beautiful, colorful watercolor wash. We named this paper One Fine Day and it's just a perfect name. We love the white florals on top of the watercolor. It almost, in a way, looks like they've been embossed. And then on the B side is just a really lovely black and white version of those same florals. You could leave this sheet as is. You could also add some gesso and watercolor it. You could color it in with markers. There's so many great options for this black and white sheet. This paper is probably one of my very favorites. This is a beautiful large frame. I could imagine this being fussy cut and used as a focal point on a scrapbooking layout. If you create on a smaller scale, you could trim out just pieces and use it here and there. You would also use this page as is. Don't do any cutting at all layer up on top of it with other items and so then you've got the beautiful watercolor and splatter background already done. Okay, so this one might actually be my very, very favorite. So this is the B side and it's this beautiful light pastel rainbow of watercolor painting. It's such a gorgeous background. You can use this for anything, layouts, mini albums, cards. It's so versatile. I love, love, love this, this B side. This sheet is called Possibility, and it has so many possibilities, guys. Beautiful watercolor elements, some bold yellow, which is, is a nice touch. And then on the B side is just this beautiful, almost like a mandala feel with the circles. It's a lovely shade of periwinkle blue and just a really good geometric everyday print. This sheet is a set of cutaways. It's got some really beautiful sentiments on it. My favorite is this one that says, you are my favorite notification. I, it's so, you know, on trend and, and part of our world today is notifications on our phone. And so I love that we added that in there with some of these beautiful florals. We've got lots of colors going on. Um, these would be great for pocket pages as well. You could trim them down and these would slide right into all of your different little pockets. And then on the back, oh, I love this page. Okay, so this one might be my favorite. I'm probably gonna say that a lot throughout this video. So this is the ombre shaded from very, very, very pale pink to a darker pink. It's got these beautiful watercolor lines in it. Really great for backgrounds. Perfect for card making. Oh, they're just beautiful. So this is another one. We called this one Hope. I love that it's got this nice grid on it and it's just a white grid or white paper with a gray grid. You could even trim this off and use that for um, backgrounds, etc. But we added this fun piece over here. You've got this beautiful ombre from turquoise to purple in here and then some of those florals scattered all along the side. And then on the back is just a gorgeous green watercolor with a little scattering of florals down the side. Up next is this sheet. We called it Chit Chat. It's super fun. It's got this like a rainbow of tags at the top with watercolor drips behind it and some splatter. Lots of fun little sayings like enjoy today, seek flourish bloom. It's a super fun. So it'd be just great on the back, like a background of your layout. And then on the B side is another just beautiful watercolor piece. Up next is this floral sheet. It's nice and blue, it has some pink outline flowers on it. And then on the B side is another watercolor in the more bolder color tones of this collection. So the pinks and the oranges and the yellows. 
Um, and then of course some added splatter. And then finally, we have one more watercolor oriented pattern. Lots of watercolor it fill in this collection. This one is a little bit more subtle, a little bit lighter, but still very beautiful and has some splatters here and there. And then the B side of this is these gorgeous watercolor florals. Very bold, but still very feminine and just super beautiful. And as always, we include a six by six paper pad in all of our collections. This paper is the same thickness and luxuriousness of our 12 by 12 papers. You've got all of the designs, two of each. Uh, they're just printed in a smaller format. So it's really great for smaller things like mini albums. And it's also really perfect for card making. Before we get to all of the beautiful embellishments for this collection, I wanted to mention that this collection also coordinates with one of our brand new a2 sized washi tapes called Painted Florals. This is a five and a half inch washi tape that has all of these beautiful floral images on them. And a fun fact about these is these have matching die cuts as well. So while this is technically not in the collection, it does coordinate and it is available at scrapbook.com. So I wanted to let you know about that. All right, so let's get right to all of the lovely embellishments that we have included in this collection. A pink rush favorite are our alpha stickers. So we have included two different sets of puffy alpha stickers in this collection. Up first is the mini puffy alpha stickers. This comes in one pack. And what I love about it is we have continued that lovely watercolor wash throughout it. So your letters are different colors. So they range from those beautiful oranges and corals and pinks. And then you come on down here to more of the blues and the purples and the cooler tones of the pinks. So that is a really fun mini alpha, really great for adding um, to your titles of your projects, great for customizing card sentiments and perfect for pocket pages, mini albums, everything like that. We also have included a larger puffy alpha in just white. There's so much color in this collection. So we thought that these white alphas would really pop off of those beautiful watercolor backgrounds that are full of color and florals and splatter. So we thought a good basic white would be the perfect fit for the larger alpha. And for this collection, we have included this set, which has these really beautiful scripted words and then some of the matching watercolor florals. Loving these words, these are perfect for adding titles to your scrapbooking layouts. So super easy, just peel them off and stick them down. They're gonna add a little bit of dimension to your page, a little bit of texture, and the letters, or excuse me, the words are all in that beautiful watercolor wash. And a Pinkfresh Studio collection wouldn't be complete without our standard set of puffy stickers. We always include these with every collection because they are always a favorite. And what we include in these puffy sticker sets are elements from the collection. For this one, it would be the florals, lots of really great sayings, like the future is exciting, this moment is just right, really great for memory keeping and documenting your memories, and some really beautiful scripted words as well. A new embellishment that we have added to our collections this year are these beautiful wood stickers. So what we've done is we've created some lovely images and sentiments, things like never forget how much you are loved, be happy for this moment. And then we've added this fun strip of wood at the top. So it looks like you have hung it on your layout, which is just a really unique aspect. Up next is the mixed embellishment pack. This is something new we've been doing this year. And what it is, is it's just a mixture of different types of embellishments. So you have these layered stickers, which just come with some dimension already added to them. But then you also get this set of wooden buttons with the enamel center, these enamel flares, and then some gold glitter enamel dots. Pink Fresh fans love our enamel dots, so we did decide to do an entire set of enamel dots for this collection in all of the different beautiful colors. And then we went, and went ahead and added the glitter ones onto the mixed embellishment pack. 
We've also included a set of phrase stickers in this collection, and I love these, you guys. As a card maker, there are so many of them that I can use as sentiments on my cards, but for memory keepers, these are just great for tucking here and there, adding a little bit more love and sentiment into your projects. There are 81 different phrase stickers in this collection. So you've got a ton of different things that you can say about whatever memory it is that you're documenting. A Pinkbrush Studio collection is never complete without die cut ephemera. It's one of our most popular embellishments and what people love the most. We of course included that in the Just a Little Lovely collection. And some different options that we have included, living our best life right now. So there's a lot of really great sentiments and tag type items. These would be really awesome in your pocket pages, but they're also great to tuck here and there behind photos on your layouts, etc. There are some really beautiful floral pieces and some scripted words. And then of course, lots of really fun tag elements. So the final thing that I wanna share with you is something I am super excited about. We came out with gold foiled acetate in this release and it's just these beautiful watercolor florals. They are lined in gold, as you can see here. They're, they just add a really beautiful shine and sheen. This one right here is my favorite. I love this big floral cluster. And just a fun fact, that washi tape that I mentioned earlier, these are those same floral images, just a little bit bigger. So lots of things to coordinate throughout this collection. It's really fun, it's really beautiful. And I've got a, a couple of projects here that I wanna share with you. This layout here focuses on a lot of the circle elements that you'll find throughout the collection. She has used some of those beautiful gold foiled acetate pieces here and there. And she's also trimmed her photo down into a circle to match. And she used one of the lovely watercolor washed backgrounds for the back of her layout. So here we have another layout that is full of mixed media. While it already has the watercolor background from the paper, she took it a step further and added some watercolor elements here and there with our liquid watercolor. And that's just a really fun way that you can add a little bit of color to some of the watercolor papers that are a little bit more muted. And then she went ahead and she fussy cut that beautiful wreath from the 12 by 12 paper and taped it up on some foam tape to give it some dimension. And then she just added some stickers here and there to finish her layout and what a beautiful masterpiece this is. And so I created this card using some of the Pinkfresh Studio Essentials dies, which are available at scrapbook.com. So just search for Pinkfresh Essentials and you'll find all of them. And this is actually just one piece of six by six paper that I die cut with some edgers and just mixed it up so that the color was different. And then I added a phrase sticker and this is actually also a couple of pieces from that washi tape that I mentioned earlier. So I'm a card maker and I love this collection. I have been creating cards like crazy with it. And so today we are going to create this card together. It's a birthday card I was able to customize by using some of the stickers in the collection. So the first thing that I did was I actually die cut all of these shaped pieces. Now these are from our Pinkfresh Studio Essentials die cut collection. And what they are is they're just basic shapes, but with some Pinkfresh flair. Like this one has the diagonal stitch to it. This oval has that lovely braided edge. And then we have just this beautiful fancy label. Now these dies are perfect for using with our pattern papers. So you can find those um, on scrapbook.com. Just search for Pinkfresh Essentials. So to start out, I took that ombre paper and die cut it with the diagonal stitched die and just popped it, mounted it on a big sheet of foam. This way it gives some dimension to my card and some sturdiness. And isn't that pink background just beautiful? I love it. So then I die cut that braided oval from that lovely watercolor floral paper it matches that ombre pink paper perfectly and it really pops off of it. And so this I also mounted with some foam strips.
Next, it's time to do the label. Now, this sentiment is also from one of our essentials dies called classic words. There's lots of scripted words. They have the scripted word, and then they also have the shadow layer, but you can use them together or separate, and I opted to not use the shadow. So I went ahead and I die cut it from gold, gold glitter paper and then stacked it with some white cardstock just to make it a little bit thicker and give it a little bit more added dimension. I went ahead and put that on the tag already, and I am also going to pop this with foam adhesive. If I haven't mentioned this before, I love dimension. So all of my cards are thick. They pretty much always require extra postage, but I'm okay with that because it makes them sturdy and it makes the recipient feel like they're really, really special. So next I'm gonna finish the sentiment with some of our puffy stickers. I am using the beautiful scripted happy word from our puffy stickers. And I'm just gonna pop it up here and just tuck it a little bit underneath the B and birthday. And then I'm going to use the beautiful mini alphas to finish off the two you. All right, and now your sentiment's finished. And the, one of the final touches that I'm gonna add is just some of these floral pieces. These are actually from that A2 washi tape that I shared with you earlier in the video. I am using some liquid glue to adhere these down. This glue is nice because it gives you some time to make sure that you're getting the placement that you want, but once it dries, it dries down and it's nice and permanent. So these little floral clusters aren't gonna go anywhere. All right, and so the floral clusters are down and that glue will dry rather soon. So I have just one final step to share with you. And that is adding, I add jewels to every single project that I create. And so we came out with this beautiful set of Essentials Jewels. So you get it in this one case. You get all of these beautiful colors and they are available here at scrapbook.com. So I chose the jewels in pink, purple, and blue. I thought that would pull out some of the beautiful colors in the collection. Finished. Super easy card, doesn't take too long to create and it's beautiful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.